Hello everyone, welcome back to another StarCraft 2 editor tutorial. So my other ones had become really popular, um, probably because I posted it on Reddit, and um, I did gain actually a lot more subscribers from that, so it seems like people actually want to see more of this. So today I'm going to be going over a little bit of the data. Um, I'm going to make this into more episodes again, just so that it's less intimidating and what's not. So um, we're going to go over data first. Um, so basically, this kind of looks confusing, but it's it's pretty simple. So you want to make sure to have uh, the spiky thingy on. Yeah, okay, it's on. Usually default. This is what it should look like for you the first time you ever do anything. Basically, these are all um, units. You can always add more. Um, uh, where is it? You can just add things if you need to. Um, there are like abilities and all other kind of stuff, but for now, I'll just go for this. Um, so these are basically everything under the sun. There's a lot of different things here. This kind of rearranges things, sort of. So, like, for example, that will show this in folders once it loads. Um, boop. Okay. And this will show things once that one. It's just different ways. Uh, I prefer to have, I think, I think it is that one. God damn. Hurry up. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to pause. Okay, so yeah, you're going to want to have it on this one. Uh, raw data kind of shows you like every little tiny thing you don't need to see, but having it on that is important. And you also want to have uh, the spiky thing checked. Okay, so this right here, actually, let me, let me see. Let's find a Zerg, maybe. Okay, Zergling, actually. That's what I meant. Uh, so basically there is a lot more. This actually right here shows you, actually maybe I'll not have that on, because that shows you every single other one. This will just show you what you need. So basically, that, the, the stuff right here is kind of things you can edit. I'll go over that in a second. So this is basically, like, the things attached to it. So you can actually click this little guy right here. And don't be intimidated by this, but this is basically everything that's connected to the unit, which is somewhere here. There it is. And there are a lot of different things attached to this. For example, like um, the different the models are basically kind of like animations. So as you can see, that one is just him blowing up. That one's him cut, being cut in half. There's also sounds. This, I guess, when he explodes. Okay, I don't know if you could hear that or not. But um, that's wonderful. And uh, basically, just stuff like that. Uh, we're just going to close that for now. And let me see. This stuff right here is how you view these things. So you can view this in detail view, which kind of shows you like this. I would not recommend doing this because it will take longer when you switch between different things. But um, yeah, uh, okay. XML view is in code basically, and if you turn on syntax, yeah, this right here, it'll turn it more into a familiar programming thing. So if you like, you know, editing things more, uh, that is for you. Okay. Let me see. Um, this right here, uh, I guess you could leave that on, okay, don't worry about those things. Wizard view, um, I'm actually not sure what the difference between wizard view and that view is, in fact it looks exactly the same, see, so I would recommend it on detail view if you ever want to use that, but I like table view the most, okay. So, we have our zergling selected here, right, okay, and so this is basically like when I showed you in there, kind of all the things connected to it and this right here is this is where the fun begins <laughs> and um, basically things here you can change are like I don't know the unit cost or there should be I don't really change Zergs that much let me see but you can change things like their life regeneration values but there should be a movement speed ability somewhere I'm not sure where it is right now movement somewhere. Same where it is, but basically you can change things. And if I were to change... Oh, here. Actually, is that it? Probably not. Here, there, here it is. Movement speed. So, things that are in blue is basically the default view of what Blizzard did. Um, so, if I were to click on the maximum life you could have, you can right-click on that and click modify value, then you can change things. So, like, let's say I want his max health. You can use those arrow keys. You can type in, like, a thousand 
Um, the max you can go is like 500,000, I think. Basically, it will turn green once you have changed it and blue if that is something Blizzard has done. So, basically, the max life our little Zergling will have will be a thousand, so he'll basically be an unstoppable fast little motherfucker. Um, and I guess this episode is kind of getting a bit long. But that's basically what you would do for there. So, let's say we had our little Zerg dudes. Um, they would be basically unstoppable. So if you would ever want to have that for some reason.